If you've got an air compressor installed in your garage or shop, you might be tempted just to throw a quick connect fitting on it and call it a day. But you can do better and you deserve better. Hey everyone, I'm Justin and in this video we're going to show you what we did to step up our air compressor game by plumbing our shop with a Rapid Air Max Airline kit. But first, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. So our air compressor is already in place and we went with an 80 gallon Emax Industrial plus silent air system. You can check out tips for selecting the right compressor for your system in an earlier video we did. We'll put the link in the description below. Our Emax compressor has a three quarter inch outlet size. So we used a Rapid Air Master Shop Air Kit with a three quarter inch tubing kit to plumb our shop. This kit includes all the key components we need to put the air drops where we want them. So using our air tools will be quick and convenient as possible. Here's what's included. 100 feet of max line tubing, three aluminum blocks, three NTP fittings, three NTP plugs, three NTP drain valves, two T fittings, 20 mounting clips, and a cutter and bevel tool. For our setup, we also added another outlet block, a couple of more straight NTP fittings, six 90 degree NTP fittings, and a tank drain for our compressor. We also picked up a Rapid Air Max Airline straightener tool to help us straighten the tubing for our long runs. The first step in setting up your shop with air is to plan your layout. And we recommend considering future plans for your layout as well. For example, if you plan to add a blast cabinet in the future, add a T and a shutoff valve along the wall where you'd like it to go. Or if you're gonna be painting, plumb in a retractable hose reel from the ceiling to avoid draping hoses over the vehicle. On your layout plan, Note the location of your outlets as well as tees and elbows as needed. This will ensure that you have all the components you need before you start. For our shop, we added drops on the front side of our lift as well as at our workbench and a few hose reels as well. We should also note that because the shop doubles as a video studio, we ran much of our line above the ceiling tiles where you can't see it in the videos. This isn't typical for most shops. So when you're installing your lines on the wall, be sure to use the supplied clips every five feet. So let's take a walk around the Summit Studio and show you some of the highlights of our system. Dry, clean air is crucial to keeping your air system and tools in tip-top shape. So we installed a Delbis desiccant dryer system to keep contaminants out of our airlines. We also connected our dryer system to the compressor with a Rapid Air jumper hose. It's made from flexible rubber and that will reduce vibration to our air dryer and max line tubing. We've gone ahead and connected our air dryer to our air manifolds here with a piece of blue line and you know, as you can see here, we have a manifold before the regulator and a manifold after the regulator. So we went ahead and put one before the regulator and hooked up an air hose for like filling tires where we don't need regulated air and we're trying to move as much air as possible. So then we have a quick connect fitting after the regulator and a gauge so we can see what kind of air we're putting out. We're gonna show you guys how to hook up one of these fittings and it's super easy. So we've already gone ahead and run our line. You know, it's been cut flush and we need to chamfer it. So we're gonna take our chamfering tool, which Rapid Air provides, run it up in the tubing, run it around a few times, and now we're ready. So go ahead and spin the nut off. You have this nut in a split collar. So you're gonna slide the nut over, then the split collar, and you're gonna slide the line down and make sure that's all the way against it. So put the split collar on, and then you're gonna spin the nut on. So now to really tighten this thing and make sure it doesn't leak, we're gonna go ahead and hold this bottom nut with our little breaker bar and a crow's foot to kind of get it out of the way. And then we're gonna tighten this all the way down. That thing's nice and tight. And then once we get the rest of the fittings connected, we'll go ahead and pressure check all these with a little bit of soapy water to make sure they're not leaking. So here's our second airdrop and we just have another aluminum block here and a quick connect fitting. Now it's important to note when you're installing your Max Airline system that if you're not using 90s that you use long swooping bends. You don't wanna kink this tubing. So since we don't really have a lot of room here, we went ahead and installed a couple 90s to you know tuck it in. 
And this system's all ran in series. So this Air Connect is connected to our other one that we installed earlier after the regulator. So the air here is regulated and we'll be able to adjust the pressure. So now we're over here at our bench where we added our third airdrop. And we went ahead and hooked up a Flexilla flexible air hose and we put an air gun here too. So when we're porting a set of cylinder heads or doing that kind of stuff, we have air here to be able to blow stuff off. And this thing is awesome and came with all sorts of accessories. We also picked up this Flexilla High Flow 14 piece air fitting kit. And this is important because we wanted all our air fittings to match and these are high flow. So the diameter on the inside is larger than a standard plug and will give us all the air we need. So we went ahead and fitted our tire inflator with one of these fittings and our Aircat 1150 impact as well. It's important to use all the same kind of fittings because there's several different styles and they don't exactly interchange. So your tubing is going to come in a hundred foot roll. We've gone ahead and installed most of our system already. So we're pretty familiar with our tubing roller and how it works, but we're going to show you guys how to do it. So we need to make a short run. So we're going to go ahead, straighten it, cut it and bevel it so we can get it installed. So you're just gonna feed it in one end and run it back and forth in the roller to get it nice and straight. We found that putting it in the vise really helps to hold onto this thing because straightening this tube can kind of be a bit of a bear. When you're straightening this, you're also gonna kinda wanna roll it back and forth so it gets straight on all angles. So once you go ahead and get it straightened, we've got it marked and we're going to cut this. Rapid Air supplies these cutters and what you're going to want to do is make sure you're nice and square, put it in the cutter, and then you're going to roll it like back and forth in your hand and go around. And there you go. So once you've got your piece cut to length, you're going to want to take your reamer, insert it in the end, and that's going to make sure it's round again from where you cut it, and it also bevels the edge to make the installation a little bit easier, and you're gonna wanna do both ends. And just like that, this piece is ready for install. So now we're at our final airdrop, and we put that one on the side of our two post lift. We also went ahead and added a 50 foot retractable hose reel, so we have an air hose handy at all times when we need it. So we're gonna go ahead and also add a couple quick connects here as well, so if we need a second air hose where we need to use two air tools at the same time, that's no big deal. It's important to note when you're running a bunch of this straight tubing that you use the clips they provide every five feet because with temperature, this tubing will expand and contract. So let's get this line hooked up, our quick connects installed, and then we can go ahead and pressurize the system, test it for leaks, and then close everything up. Make sure that's seated. We're gonna slide our collar down. Go ahead and hold the bottom with this, and we'll start to tighten. It's nice and tight. Now we're gonna go ahead and install a couple of our quick connects. So you're gonna to need to put Teflon tape on these so they don't leak. And the key to Teflon tape is wrapping it around to where it doesn't spin off as you spin the fitting in. So I like to put two wraps on it and peel it off. We're just going to run that in until it's snug. Nice and tight. Same one with the one on the end here. We're going to take some Teflon tape, wrap that around twice, thread our fitting on. Make sure that's nice and tight. Now we're ready with everything installed and everything sealed up. We're ready to pressure check our system and then we can seal everything up and get to using our air compressor system. So we went ahead and hosed this thing down with soapy water and we don't have any bubbles. So that means this thing isn't leaking and we're good to check the rest of them. So we've gone ahead and aired up our compressor and checked our system for leaks and we're leak free. So we can go ahead and button up our ceiling tiles and we're good to go. The real question is, what are we gonna work on first with all this newfound air power? Ah. I'm Justin with Summit Racing. Thanks for watching.